Hello everybody, it's old Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. I want to talk about uh, Tesla's radiant energy uh, deal and uh, a little gizmo that I put together. I uh, took some aluminum like this right here, this thin uh, aluminum, and I essentially built me a pyramid using aluminum uh, sheeting and some aluminum tape right there. I'll put a crude diagram in the uh, video for you to see what it is that I'm talking about. Essentially, if uh, you look up there, there is a uh, aluminum pyramid that I talked about in a few pre previous videos where that uh, aluminum up there is just uh, essentially hanging by a piece of hemp rope and uh, it uh, picks up energy real good as an antenna. So, um, what I did was I took uh, Tesla's patent and used a few ideas of my own and I made a uh, pyramid an aluminum pyramid like that about close to the, close to the same size and I hung it about 30 feet up into the tree outside and so what I did was let me uh, get all this down here do 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 you'll notice the uh, voltage on the uh, voltmeter if I can get it zoomed in over here dropping all right let me see if I can get this zoomed in just right probably a little too close to where I want to be do 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 let's try that okay hopefully you can see that voltmeter right there it's a it's a slowly dropping and uh, basically what I got, I got a, uh, a Mallory type uh, SFC 6600 uh, UF 600 or 60 volt uh, DC capacitor. It's a pretty powerful little uh, job right there. They use them in amplifiers. This little purple wire that I've got right here. Okay, there it is. This little purple wire that I got right here is running all the way up to the uh, aluminum pyramid that's hanging approximately 30 to 40 feet up in the air off of a tree. All right. Now, I initially was going to do this using uh, using my earth battery ground, the eight foot ground rod that I have uh, staked down into the ground. I initially was going to use uh, that for my ground which uh, right here are my earth battery ground wires do 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 put that right there and put this right here okay those are my ground wires to my earth battery and that was a wire that I had on the earlier for some other deal I was working on anyway uh, I'm hoping you can see the voltage on that right there while it's dropping down it's at 8.82 .8 right now um, I hit it with a 9 volt battery and uh, charged the capacitor up a little bit and uh, if you start it off fresh it takes quite a while to charge the capacitor up to uh, get it to uh, up to about uh, 0.70 volts and then uh, it takes a little bit longer to get it up even higher but uh, it continuously rises uh, slowly if you look right here you'll notice I've got a uh, stainless rod which is also in the picture the only thing different from the picture that uh, I had on there is essentially this little collector that I put up here to see if I could actually uh, get that to pick up a little bit more energy as well. There's a little piece of aluminum right there and that's an aluminum disc that I put on there and this right here is uh, just some copper wire uh, just wrapped up pretty nice and snug and goes in through each one of the holes just to hold them into place. And so with that said, what I want to show you get everything back down to where it should be I'm hoping you can see that uh, voltage real well I've got a piezoelectric buzzer here and I'm going to drain this thing down 
All right, now, I know that's annoying noise, but uh, when you watch this thing drain down, it's draining down pretty fast. I'm going to let it drain down quite a bit. Yeah, that'll drive you insane after a while. Apologize for that. Anyway, I want to drop this down quite substantially so that I can show you something. Urgh, that buzzing should start quieting down a bit. It's a 12 volt uh, piezoelectric buzzer. And uh, when it's loud, it's loud. I think they use them for backup beepers and stuff like that. Anyway, we're bringing her down here. Do 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 do. Anyway, that uh, that's this system is not grounded at all. Uh, basically, it's uh, that rod right there, the uh, the, the uh, stainless rod with the coil around that, is essentially the ground. So this little stainless rod right here is hooked to the negative side and the wire that goes up to the uh, aluminum pyramid hanging from the tree is connected to the positive side and right now I've got the, uh, the buzzer as the load to drain it off so I'm going to drop this down below one volt to do to do to do to do to do alright that ought about do it okay now watch it's at point nine four. It's going up. It'll go up right, right about one o one to one o three, and then start leveling off and slowing down. Well, that's where it did earlier, but now it's still rising back up. So anyway. Um, I know that from from dead zero, I, it takes a while to get it up. It seems like the threshold is uh, around about uh, 0.90. If you get it to 0.90, it seems to uh, start speeding up for some reason. I haven't quite figured that out yet, or haven't tested it long enough to see how many... Uh, uh, a difference of weather patterns or whatever like today it's uh, it's kind of rainy and should be a lot of a lot of static up in the air somewhere but uh, you can see it's going back up let's drop it down again we'll bring her down to about 90 again Alright, there we go. I'll see if she'll go up to 104 and start leveling off. Either way, it's quite impressive uh, as opposed to the earth battery. The earth battery I got to like 0.73 and uh, you know, it kind of leveled itself off from there but uh, this radiant energy patent uh, of Tesla's using this pyramid design the pyramid makes a really good antenna and uh, so with that said you can see how it is charging that capacitor back up and you know we're actually instead of you know just being like down to a half a volt or, or more you know slightly under one volt we're actually over a volt now and uh, so I think there's really some potential in this deal and I wanted to share this with you so we're up to 1.04 now this is where it normally started leveling off and and actually stopped uh, charging well it was still charging if you flip it down into the uh, the millivolt range you can see that it's still charging but uh, now it's like it's still going up so anyway yeah uh, it's a real simple, uh, real simple thing to try. It worked for me. You can try it at home and get back with me and let me know how it worked out for you. Uh, it seems the higher that you can actually get that uh, aluminum pyramid up, uh, the better. And uh, I'm not sure what what gauge this uh, this aluminum here is. 
but uh, it's just a, a roll of aluminum that I bought at the hardware store and then a roll of uh, aluminum tape and I actually took four wires you'll see in the diagram where there's some squiggly lines on the pyramid and then it goes up to the wires there's actually four one on each side of the pyramid and so they they act as fingers down each each face of the pyramid and they're actually uh, they I poked holes in the aluminum facing of the pyramid and run them through and then twisted them back off and then uh, zigzagged them up and then uh, taped them down with the aluminum tape and basically uh, secured them that way but uh, she's a hanging up there about uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 feet up in the in the tree and you see what it's uh, it's doing it's actually up uh, going up to 1.15 volts of electricity right now all right well I won't uh, I won't bore you anymore uh, like I said the only reason why I put uh, this added this to it that's not in the drawing to make like a little collector and uh, see if I can get some static build up in between these two plates right here and see if that was to actually uh, help me uh, which it kind of appears like it did I'll just have to keep testing it to find out seems like it's uh, helped uh, increase the uh, charging of it and so this right here is the ground this this rod right here that's uh, it's basically it's wood wood down here and this is plastic so that rod's just kind of sitting on top of that wood it's not touching the it's not touching the ground it's not grounded to the earth uh, it, it is the ground for the negative side of the capacitor and the positive side goes up the uh, wire the 30 foot uh, up 30 to 40 feet up in the tree and connected to uh, four wires that are actually on one on each uh, each side of the face of the pyramid and acting as the antenna so you can see what I've got going on there that's, uh, to me that's some pretty good voltage and I think that if you was to actually put a lot of these up around you know different places of your uh, of your yard or whatever uh, high enough into the tree and then run them down into capacitor banks you could uh, actually get some pretty substantial electricity off of the deal so with that said uh, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, end this video but you see it's still climbing it's at uh, 122 1.22 right now and climbing I'll uh, keep I'll keep in touch with you and let you know how high it actually gets. But uh, one last time, I'll uh, I'll hit the uh, buzzer on there and drain her down to 90. You can hear the buzzer still going. Uh, it'll start getting weaker. Bring her down to roundabout. There we go, and then see if she starts climbing back up. Do 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 do. It's going slowly but surely. I'll wait till that gets up to one volt. I'll try to shorten these videos up. I'm like getting my videos pretty doggone long these days. Hope y'all don't uh, get discouraged with that. Set 95, 96. Anyway, that's like watching paint dry. Arrgh! Burn it. All right, well. You see that aluminum pyramid up there? That's about the size of the one that I've got hanging from the tree up there. And so with that said, uh, give it a try. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Peace and love, everybody. And uh, I'll get back with you. I'm going to leave this thing running uh, all night long and uh, come in and see how the charge is on there. And uh, 
you know report my findings from that point on but uh, Tesla's radiant energy sir, uh, circuit uh, seems like it has a lot of potential to it so I'm going to uh, I'm going to keep doing some research in that uh, along with my uh, plasma technology uh, she's up over one volt now eh, don't know if you can see that do 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 ah yep that's not bad for uh, energy straight from the air so with that said peace and love everybody take care uh, stay tuned I got a lot of really cool stuff on the way peace